We all know the castle system in our cities, but how do you get to the next level, or rather the final level, faster? That is what we'll be covering today. First though, we need to look at how the castle system actually works. It sits in the top left of your city and changes its appearance as you level it. Higher levels also give your city more boosts and some exclusive rewards like portraits and expansions. However, each level takes more and more castle points to reach up to the current maximum of 5,065,500 castle points. There's a total of four different rewards that you can get from the castle system. The first is the free daily castle points. Every day that you collect from it, it cycles through giving giving you 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, and 100 castle points, at which point it starts back over at 10, and if you're on mobile, you're able to watch an ad to double these points. The second reward area thing is the daily reward box. This will change depending on the level of your castle, and for levels 1 to 2 only gives forge points and goods, and from levels 3 and beyond, you'll also get some previous age goods. These values range from 1 forge point and 5 goods at level 1, all the way up to 55 forge points, 70 goods, and 35 previous era goods at level 20, which is currently the highest level. Then we have the main rewards. There are one-time rewards, which are won immediately after reaching a level of the castle system, and the permanent rewards, which are generally some sort of boost. The higher your castle system, the higher your boost will be. There's a wide variety of one-time rewards, including rogue hideouts, shrines of knowledge, wishing wells and their shrink kits and upgrades, finished coin and supply production items, emissary slots for your town hall, a total of 17 exclusive portraits, and at the higher levels, even a total of 3 expansions. The permanent boosts include up to 60% attack and defense boosts for both your attacking and defending armies, 150% coin and supply boosts, 25% cheaper tavern boosts, 25% faster scouting on the campaign map, 35 forge points after completing a settlement, a 70% reduction in the cooldown timer of abandoning a cultural settlement, 3 extra slots in the antiques dealer, a 25% reduction in the time it takes for PvP arena attempts to refill, 20% more trade coins, and 25% more gemstones from the antiques dealer. So, the question is, how do we generate castle points faster, and what's the fastest that we can go? The short answer is to spend money. For every purchase with real money, you get 500 castle points for every 1 US dollar, meaning that it costs just over $10,000 to fully level the castle system through spending money. And that's a lot. There are plenty of ways to get castle points for free though. For most players, the most obvious will be via fights and negotiations. You can get up to 240 castle points per day from each of these for a total of 480 castle points. The first battle or negotiation you complete will be worth 30, then 28, and it decreases by 2 until where the 16th fight or negotiation is worth 0. This resets every day. Additionally, you get castle points from the daily challenges, with 100 points per each challenge completed, and 700 from completing 7 challenges. The guild expeditions help out too, with every 4th encounter giving some castle points. Level 1 gives 15 castle points per each 4th encounter, level 2 gives 30, level 3 45, level 4 60, and level 5 gives 75, for a total of 900 castle points per week. Lastly, you can get castle points by spending trade coins and gemstones in the antiques dealer. You get 30 points for every auction that you win, and a small amount of points for each item that you buy. You get 1 point for every 300 coins or 2 gemstones spent, rounded down. However, only the first 6 purchases per day are worth castle points. Since the antique dealer offers are usually not worth it to us and auctions can be costly to win, we'll be ignoring their contributions to the castle system for right now. That leaves us the free daily challenge points, fighting, negotiating, the daily challenges, and the guild expeditions. Assuming you max out each of these by completing every daily challenge and all levels of the guild expeditions, you'd average about 842 castle points per day, meaning that would take... six thousand days which is 16 and a half years. We've got to be able to do better than that. The good news is that we can. If you're on mobile, you're able to watch those ads for extra daily castle points, which brings us up to 875 castle points per day and down to 15.8 years, cutting out about 
8 months, but we can still do much, much better. Remember those antique stealer points? We can mostly ignore those from the auctions, as you would have to spend under 9300 trade coins to spend within the 1 castle point to 300 coins ratio, and anything more than that could be a waste of trade coins in the long term. Instead, the goal is to purchase many of the items in the antique stealer's shop as possible. The average value of all the items available to purchase is about 41.1 castle points, and since only 6 purchases provide castle points per day, that means that you can get on average up to 247 extra castle points, or just about what you can get daily by fighting or negotiating. Since I started this video, I've been tracking my average castle points, and it ends up closer to 32 though, so your mileage may vary. With these extra points, we can average up to 1,089 castle points per day, meaning that it will cut over 3 years off the previous time of 15.8 years, down to 12.7 years, not including ads, and if you are on mobile and still willing to watch the ads, that takes us down to 12.4 years. That's a lot better than the original 16 and a half years that we had at the start, but it's still a really long time. You could potentially cut this down even further by winning some auctions in the Antiques Dealer, as you get 30 points for doing so, but the math for that gets kind of funky, as you can then sell those purchases back to the Antiques Dealer and get more gems, which is something you'll need a lot of. The average cost of everything that you can buy in the antique Dealer is 9,800 trade coins and 18 gemstones, which is pretty expensive. To buy out the shop daily would cost an average of 58,800 trade coins and 108 gemstones, which is nearly impossible to sustain, especially the amount of gemstones. Luckily, there are quite a few great buildings that can actually help us out here. The Temple of Relics, Flying Island, Himeji Castle, and Space Carrier can all contribute a little bit, but the latter two provide negligible trade coins and gems. However, at level 100, the Temple of Relics will give you about 5,000 trade coins per day, and nearly 4 gems using 24-hour trades. That's worth about 18 castle points per day, which is disappointingly low, but still better than zero. Even if we add in the value of all the buildings from the Guild Expeditions and Guild Battlegrounds, assuming that we sold all of them using the 24-hour timer, we'd only get about an extra 4,300 trade coins and 5.3 gems per day, equating to about 17 more castle points. This includes even trading the Feathered Serpent, which you would probably want to place anyways instead of selling, so the actual value for this would probably be even lower. It's not too bad though. When you do buy something from the antique dealer, in most cases you can sell it right back and recoup some of the cost of trade coins and gems. Additionally, as you level your castle system, it will provide boosts to the number of trade coins and gemstones that you get for selling items back. I think you get the gist by now. If you truly want to get your castle system to the higher levels as fast as possible, with or without spending any money, then your best bet is the following. First, Fight 15 battles and negotiate 15 times every day, though the negotiation is a little bit tricky to fit in. 2. Complete all levels of the Guild Expeditions weekly, yes, even level 5. 3. Complete your daily challenges as often as possible. 4. Use the Antiques Dealer as often as you can. Buy as many of the first 6 items per day as you can. And lastly, if you're on mobile, watching the ads can take a few months off the time needed to reach the highest levels. Since the time it takes to level the castle system is so long, I wouldn't be surprised if they added in more levels or more ways to get castle points before any free-to-play players come close to the final levels, so just be aware of that. And I think that's enough castle system info for today. Join my Discord server to discuss the video in more depth, check out my comparison of most great buildings bonuses to see exactly how they stack up for nearly any boost, linked on screen now, and I'll see you all next time.